Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Grixis Reanimator. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed the collection update video that we had yesterday. I know it was a little bit different. We did a little bit more B-roll action, but uh, that'll be a learning process for us. That's something completely new, and so I wanted to test it out, see what we could do, hopefully make it a little more visually appealing. Uh, and I really like the way it turned out. We got some some work to do, but we'll get there. Uh, today, guys, we are testing out Grixis Reanimator. We have faced a ton of Reanimator animator lists over the last couple days uh, and for good reason the the deck is very good uh, now this version of the Grixis list is uh, brought to us by MTG Malone if you don't know who that is please go check it Malone out he fantastic content creator genuinely uh, really interesting to watch fantastic uh, player as well so do check him out but this is his version of the list which you can see is chocked full of of some really, really powerful uh, game ending kind of cards. So uh, we do have Lord Xander as a two of. This is probably one of the best. Uh, comes into the, into play, the opponent immediately has to discard half their hand. Uh, that is rounded down, so if it's only one card in hand when this comes down, they don't discard a card. But anything above that, they're at least discarding something. Uh, when it attacks, they mill half their library. Uh, again, rounded down. Uh, and then if Lord Xander dies, they actually have to sacrifice half of their non-land permanents. And so generally speaking, this is going to do some damage even if they remove it, uh, which is phenomenal. It also gets resources out of the hand, which is great for us we do have two tox rule as well this is really good for dealing with creatures of course uh, over the long term of the game this really is is difficult to deal with because it'll immediately start to shrink everything on the opponent's side of the field works great against things like titan of industry as well because again that comes in as a 7-7 but this is going to immediately at the end of every turn shrink it down a little bit and so you start to outpace it very quickly uh jenga tax is phenomenal at just protecting and turboing all of your stuff uh, very very well uh, especially if you can get it to a point where you're playing it when the opponent really only has one maybe two cards in hand it really locks down the game for them and so it makes it very difficult for them to actually get anywhere and deal with stuff uh, Olivia is great at reanimating other things so if you reanimate Olivia ideally you can get something else as well uh, you do have to be careful about that uh, vampire thing but we can just get Lord Xander and that's a nice little combo uh, Xanathar is also here. This is a great way to steal the opponent's deck, and you know we've seen this card at heart for or in the meta for quite a while. Now to help get stuff in the graveyard, we do have Big Score, we have Maestro's Charm, and we have Tainted Indulgence, all of which are great options for digging through the deck and doing whatever we need it to do. Uh, to bring the stuff back, we have Graveyard Shift. Uh, this is pretty easy to turn on at flash speed, which is really amazing, especially if you can at the end of the opponent's turn get a Lord Xander discard half their hand, get the attack in, and then maybe, you know, hopefully stick it around for a while. Uh, we do have Loth uh, as a way to dig further into the deck, as well as Kaito Shizuki. Uh, both of these can help draw us some cards and do whatever we need to do. We've got plenty of removal and sweepers with Shadows Verdict, Burn Down the House, Infernal Grass, Blood Chief's Thirst, Meat Hook Massacre, all the stuff. Uh, and of course, Maestro's Charm does a great job of kind of playing every role. So, this deck is awesome. Again, go check out MTG Malone. I will link him down below. And thank you so much for sharing this list. But guys, we're going to have a blast today. Let's jump in. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys. And here we are for game number one. What an interesting hand. Wow. Um, I don't know if we can keep this, to be honest. I'm going to say no. That's like a really odd hand. I don't know if it was good or not. Um, hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we will keep this. What do we get rid of? Might just be Shadow's Verdict. As difficult as a decision that is, that's a hard decision to make because Shadow's Verdict against the right deck just annihilates. And this is probably that deck, yeah. Um, but I don't know. I felt like we could get other sweepers, and Meat Hook Massacre is certainly one. It's not great against this deck, but uh kind of hate that decision now i did want to keep the lord xander though for the big score so i don't feel like i was unjustified in my uh my decision making there we do have an infernal grass spill so we can we can kind of get out from under this a little bit of course um i am gonna wait though uh and see if they target this with anything and then use the infernal grasp i think that's generally the best way to do it uh okay i'm gonna let that hit because obviously you know, there's not much we can do there. 
They get to draw a card. Let's see. They're just going to go to attacks. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the trigger on that then. Easy enough. Blood Chief searched. Um... No land, which is certainly a problem, but I think I'm just going to meat hook for one here. I'd like to get the meat hooked down because it gains us life every time something of theirs dies. And then now the blood chief's thirst kind of gives us a little... It's it's basically kill something and gain a life, which is really helpful. Nice. Okay. I mean, don't love that, obviously. I uh, can't play this, which is very annoying. Um... Yeah, I mean, we're kind of just getting mana screwed here, which is, like, really, really annoying. But you can't really help it, so that's fine-ish. Um, at least we're handling it okay. <laughs> we're still at 17, which, honestly, against this deck is pretty phenomenal. Um, if we can get any land, we can big score, and then the following turn, we do have graveyard shifts. So, like, we'll see. Uh, great that we... or that they are doing all this um <laughs> all right um we can instant speed do this so i think we will let's pretend like we have stuff um yeah i mean this we're gonna take a huge hit here right like there's no way around it um but we do actually have the graveyard shift available next turn um with the big score so like there's there's potential <laughs> It's not great potential, but it's potential. Um, sure. Yeah, this is pretty bad, not gonna lie. Um, they're really doing a number on us here, but that's fine. Uh, really wish I had Shadow's Verdict now. That would be pretty amazing. So I, in hindsight, kind of messed up on that one. Um, let's make sure we do this at the very end of their turn, just so we know they don't have a response. I mean, not that I expect they will, but... Okay, well, that is a response, which is frustrating. Man, every black land in the world. Um, can we also Tainted Indulgence? We actually can. And I think we will. Again, we need, like, very badly, we need something that can uh, get us further into the deck here. Um, I guess it's Hive. What's nice is now we can instant speed the uh, graveyard shift, which is helpful. Um, they can't instant speed that. So I think we just pass here and like kind of hope for the best. <laughs> We're not in great shape. I mean, there's no way around it. Um, hmm. Yeah. We can't even Maestro Storm. I guess we could. So if we big score, again, I'm thinking in terms of how do we live this turn? <laughs> um, but I don't think it's actually gonna matter. I think we're basically dead anyway. I'm just gonna do this now, it doesn't matter. Um, the reality is they're not gonna, they can just remove this and then we lose. So I think this is just a good game scenario, <laughs> uh, which is annoying, but fine. Yep. Uh, cool. So, they do still have to discard a card, but it, again, doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and concede. <laughs> that was really unfortunate. Let's jump into a game two, guys. What's up, guys? Before we jump into the next game, I just want to remind you, if you would like to pick up this month's Patreon rewards, feel free to do so at patreon.com slash itresolves. All right, guys, here we are for game two, and I mean, yeah, we can keep this. What's really annoying about that game one, if we had kept the Shadows Verdict, <laughs> I'm not saying we would have won it by any means, but we could have we could have done a lot more. Um, I mean, I guess we could just lead on the, the ridge. It doesn't matter too much here. We're not representing anything, so that's fine. Uh, again, Shadows Verdict is kind of the, the want here. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the blue out, and we'll just pass. We have Infernal Grasp up um, if we need it. I don't particularly want to use it on Shambling Gas, so I'm not going to. Uh, yeah. 
Okay. Uh, I mean, that's not bad. So we'll pass here. Uh, the Shambling Gas beatdown is real. Sure. Again, not... We're not in danger of losing because of these yet, so I'm not stressing about it. Let's go ahead and... Get the second black source, which we will need. Um, cool. Again, just gonna pass. <laughs> okay. Uh, I definitely thought they had Wandering Emperor, but now they do, so that's important. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. These have dealt quite a bit of damage to us over the course of this game. Um, all right, so I assume they leave up the Wandering Emperor here. I don't see why they wouldn't. Okay. Um, hmm. So, I mean, the obvious play is just to bring back Xander. Which I'm kind of just cool with. Like, they can't vanishing verse it. The Wandering Emperor isn't going to get rid of it right away. So my question is, if we big score play Island, is that better? Um, but I don't think it's going to matter. I think we um we do leave up the the Infernal Grasp, of course. But let's see what happens. Uh, we do want to get this going before they have, for the record, they do have Hive of the Eye Tyrant. So this is a situation where we kind of just need to need to make something happen here before they remove it from the graveyard. Um, that is obviously something that could happen, so we got to be careful about that. Uh, yeah, sure. Alright, um, so again, we just kind of wait and see what they do. Okay, I think we let that happen. Curious to see if they attack. <laughs> they do, wow. I mean, we'll block one. It's not a huge reason not to, they're just trying to chip away, which is like perfectly fine, but what they're doing is opening themselves up to an attack here, uh, which is great, actually. Okay, great card. So what we get to do, theoretic, well, depending on how this goes. Oh, that's very good. Uh, and they can play it. Uh, yeah, that's really good. Um, this is an exile effect. So what I'm gonna do is blow up my own creature. Here's the deal. By us doing this, it leaves the battlefield, which means they have to sacrifice permanents. Whereas if we let them exile it, it doesn't count. Um, and it's better than us just killing the 3-3. Three, three. Um, we do take two damage, of course, but we also get rid of most of their board. So I'm super cool with that. Let's do this. I think we just go Loth. Um, they obviously can just deal with Lolf, but this also blocks efficiently, and I think that's kind of where we're at at the moment. I'd love to get Jenga Taxis down, but I think at this point we're on the, like, we just play Jenga Taxis plan. I don't think we're on the, uh, the plan of trying to reanimate. Sure. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, easy block. Obviously, they can still deal with this, but I don't really care that much. Okay, great. That's perfectly fine. Not ideal, but perfectly fine. Okay, um, hmm. I think we tainted Indulgence first. What do we get? Meat Hook is pretty interesting um one two three four five six which is enough to play this so i think we ditch a big score um 
Hmm. I think we just play Kaito and like kind of hope for the best here. Uh, we do get a little unblockable guy, but I don't think we're dead this upcoming turn. They've played basically everything off of this, so they're top decking. They do have Hive. I don't know. This is an interesting place to be. That's pretty good. Don't love that. Um, two, one, two, three, four. So we can. No, we can't. All right, they're gonna hit for five. That's pretty good. Yep. Oh, well, that's interesting. Um, what's in our graveyard right now? Lord Xander is okay. They have the ability to sacrifice some stuff. Um, hmm. All right, I'm gonna try and make this work. We'll see. So we discard this. We do this, play this. Um, we get Jenga Taxis, but now they have to do this in response. All right. So now we counter the first thing that they do every turn. And we get rid of the Wandering Emperor. Oh, but we're just dead this turn. <laughs> I was like, man, this is such a big brain play. All right. Well, that was just dumb. My bad. Uh, let's move on to game three. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see if we can get a win. Uh, this is keepable. This is like the most removal heavy hand I've seen, uh, but I'm super into it. So let's go for it. I can't. That was just dumb. My thought was if we get Jenga Taxis down, they can't remove anything that we do because they don't have the mana to do double the spells, basically, uh, which was a reasonable train of thought for the record. But <laughs> they just had a five five in the air. That was really stupid of my end. Um, but you know what? It's okay. Everything's fine. Um, all right. Let's see what we can do. Um, curious to see what the opponent's up to this game, actually. We'll do this and just leave up the Tainted Indulgence slash Infernal Grasp. Um, we can kind of go either way. I'd like to get the Tainted Indulgence going, I think, here, just because we need to hit a third land, of course. But it'd be great to, be get, to, to get Kaito Shizuki going. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna let that live. <laughs> I know that we have another answer in our hand for that, but that's just like a, a play I'm not willing to let stick. Wow, um, that's not good. Uh, okay. Oof. I guess it's one of the meat hooks. That's bad. Lands seem to be an issue here. It's kind of interesting. This has been the second time we've had these issues. Okay, I mean, that's helpful. I think here there's no reason not to go for Kaito. We'll just get the little 1-1 one, one going. Uh, this is just card draw, and again, card draw is really important for us, especially right now. And so I'd like to try and get this going. Backup plan is obviously Tainted Indulgence, but like that just gives us a repeated way to draw and discard a card, which is very good for this deck, as it turns out. <laughs> Weird, it's almost like it's a reanimator deck. Um, all right, so I'm going to draw and discard first because we're obviously not attacking this turn. And still no land. Awesome. Let's go ahead and Tainted Indulgence. Again, we just have to hit a land. I hate main phasing this, but like we don't have an option and we still didn't hit anything. So here we are. Excellent. <laughs> what is with this, uh, this terrible land scenario here? Um, I didn't count the lands, so MTG Malone, if you happen to watch this, let me know. I'll double check after too, but like, what's the land count in this deck, I wonder? Um, so this is terrible, because now they do have Hive available. Instead, they go for Goldspan, though, which is interesting. Um, like, if we hit a land, we can kill it. <laughs> They're going to get rid of Kaito, for sure. Makes sense. We're just having bad luck. I mean, also I'm a bad player, but mostly we're just having bad luck. 
No, that's not true. Mostly I'm a bad player. <clears throat> okay. I mean, there's, like, we just have to do this, right? We can't let Goldspan sit on the field. There's just no way. Especially if they're going to untap with two treasure tokens. Like, that's, what, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Like, I'm not into that. Yep. So, they're going to get rid of Lord Xander. If they're, I mean, I assume. I don't know why they wouldn't. Yep, look at that. Crazy. Cool. Um, yep. Alright, give me a land. Just an untapped land. Let me get Loth down. <laughs> it's like the worst play. Okay. I mean, I guess we pass. We should have, I guess, big score just to hit a land. I don't know. This is, like, slightly frustrating. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay. Here's the thing, guys. We lose all the time. The last video, I lost all three games. We're probably gonna lose all three games this time. But that's just the reality of what happens. That's not, like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. It is what it is. Um, I think we big score ditching the graveyard shift. I think at this point, against a hive of the eye tyrant, it's not likely that we'll want that. Yeah. Okay. Part of me is okay with this if we do, yeah, because we have burned down the house, so we can actually get rid of all this, uh, which is very good. Burn down the house is like kind of killer right now. Even better. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and just fire it off. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, burn down the house does wonders here. Um, if they make us discard. We don't have a creature in our graveyard, so like graveyard shift is okay to discard. I don't know, we'll see. Kinda wish this was instant speed, but nice. Uh curious to see what they do here. Could be a treasure token, it could just be a 1-1 one -one counter. Nope. They go for the treasure. <clears throat> Makes sense. Oh yeah, Shadow's verdict is just better, isn't it? Um No, you know what? I'm gonna decline. Screw it. We're gonna lose the life. Alright. Alright, so Shadow's Verdict just kills everything. So let's do that. That's a nice, easy 4 for 1. <laughs> uh, Alright. Hey, Shadow's Verdict? Doing great. Thank you so much for being there. Um, We're still gonna die, but we have hope now. And hope is a scary thing. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Look at that. What a great card. <laughs> oh, everything's fine. Um, all right. <sighs> hmm. I mean, we can use this at some points. Part of me just wants to lolf. Uh, I'm just gonna loth, man. I don't know. We're just gonna do this. And we're gonna minus. We could have, I guess, meat hook massacred. But I, I'm fine with this. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, here's my thing if they sweep, they sweep their 2 twos also. So chances are, unless they meat hook for one, in which case, like, okay, I guess. We can just meat hook on the following turn. We might lose Loth, I don't know, but I'm not really that stressed about it. We have the Mire here that we can bring it back. Honestly, right now, I would just love, excuse me, a, um, like a Xander, or just like a Jenga Taxis off the top. Just to be able to, like, play it would be pretty killer. Really surprised they didn't kill this, but I guess they're probably planning on killing it regardless. <laughs> sure. Excellent. I would love to kill this. I would absolutely love to kill this. Cool. Alright, sick. So, <clears throat> what's the play? We just save as much damage as we can. 
Yeah, so obviously we can't save Loth. Um, so I think we literally are just saving the, the damage here. Uh, we kind of did get them to overcommit a little bit, which is kind of nice, though. Because um, we're going to be able to sweep all this, which is sick. Um, notice I'm doing this and not burn down the house. That's actually pretty important. Um, but more importantly, we gain some life here. So I'm into that. Um, I think we wait on the abandoned mire. We have the mana we need to do whatever we need to do. I'd like to have this ability of bringing something back so we can deal with stuff. Um, there's the hive. Sure. Uh, I wish this also hit planeswalkers. That'd be pretty sick. So I think they get Loth here. Yeah. Which is just the right play for sure. Um, man, why? Why these? Why do we get terrible cards? All right. Wow. What? Don't we have Kaito in here? Oh man. All right, well, that was just a... <laughs> oh no, watch 30 minutes of Kevin misplaying as we play Magic the Gathering. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, there was always a chance we could have hit something, right? Theoretically. This is fine, actually. I'd rather them do this this turn instead of... Uh... Why are they crewing? Oh, yeah, they sacrificed the other one. Sure, yeah, that makes sense. I'd honestly still rather them do this. It actually gives us more opportunity to gain more life. Um... You did it. You dealt four. Huh. No. <laughs> Alright. Um, we like severely need something here. We are hitting the worst top decks. Uh, yeah, definitely. I don't know what we're doing. We're just spinning wheels, people. I am only going for two here because I don't think it really matters. I don't see them having a pump spell. <laughs> so at least we gain some life. I mean, I honestly do think the play might be to discard here, but I'm waiting to do it uh, until after they've attacked with Hive. Because we can get, I mean, realistically, there's not, there's a high chance that we get something good in our graveyard, which is killer, because then we can graveyard shift. But we have to like do it at the right time. <laughs> Okay. It's just such a weird draw sequence that we've had. Um, yeah. So we do this at in step just to be safe. I do think this is the right play because we have to hit something in our graveyard and we do have the graveyard shifts to pull them back. Uh, and they decided not to exile, which is good, but... There's Lord Xander. Ooh. We can actually just play that. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can just play Lord Xander. Um, which I will. I should have been very careful with this, but that's fine. Alright, so basically we just have to hope they can't kill Lord or uh Xander. Not Xander, Xanathar. Did I just call him Xander this whole time? It's fine. All right, well, they can kill Xanathar. <laughs> <coughs> We're just getting annihilated is really what's happening here. I hope you guys enjoy 30 minutes of me failing at the game and just having a nice relaxing Sunday. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is terrible. I will say in practice, this deck did a lot better, um, but you know what? It's fine. Wow, they're giving us another shot at Xanathar, though. Uh, that was potentially a bad move, but that's fine. They get a 1-1. One, one. I don't know. We're pretty dead. <laughs> so we can graveyard shift at instant speed. 
Alternatively, we can just burn down the house. If we do that, are we just dead though? <laughs> like potentially? This has trample. They can just activate all that crap. We can't do two things because we're short on mana. I don't know, man. Um, I guess we just pass. We're dead. <laughs> like, there's no hope. We're so dead. Um, I do like the fact that this is instant speed, but like, we just did not hit anything this game. And everything we did hit, they were able to uh, reasonably deal with. Which is like fine, I get it, but it's just annoying. On the off chance, they decide not to attack with everything. <laughs> There's no reason they wouldn't, but here we are. Uh, and yeah, I'm doing this pre-combat, but it doesn't matter. They just attack with everything, and they win. Maybe this will... Maybe they won't count. No, they counted. <laughs> Alright. Well, guys, we lost. A lot. Let's talk about this. All right, so again, first and foremost, before we go into the deck, thank you, MTG Malone, for sharing this list. I I genuinely, in practice, did a lot better with this one, and so I was kind of hoping we'd get to see it really get to do its thing. Um, so I'm a little disappointed in that, but MTG Malone, I don't think that's necessarily the deck list's fault. I think that was partially misplays on my end and also a little bit of luck. I think we had some issues there with the mana. Uh, and importantly, I would be... I would like to go back after this and kind of look at that uh, just to be curious on, you know, whatever. But all in all, um, I will say reanimator as a strategy is really seeming to like be at the forefront lately. I, I seem to be seeing more of those decks as we've been going through the, the best of one ladder. Um, and I think for good reason. I mean, we've got a lot of tools for it. Graveyard Shift is a great option. Uh, and we do have a lot of the pieces for, you know, big score, tainted indulgence, a lot of things enable it. Uh, and so it makes sense. Um, that being said, this was not a great showing. Um, so my bad. <laughs> I, I mean, it is what it is. You can't really help that. Uh, it's just, that's how it shake, shakes out sometimes. So there we are. Uh, didn't do so well with it, but you know what? It's okay. It's still a, a happy Sunday, hopefully, for everybody. So thank you guys so much for watching uh, me fail for 30 minutes. I do appreciate it. I'll see you guys again soon. <laughs>